you know, it, it was uh, nothing that you really think about on a day to day. I mean, you, you kind of have that goal that you want to rise to the highest level that you can, but you really have no idea how to do it and, and what the education here is going to do for you to realize your dream. And uh, so it wasn't something that I really was actively thinking about, you know, something that I wanted, but I never thought it would happen. Wendell has been with the Pacers since 2005 and this past year was named the strength and conditioning coach of the year in the NBA, where his daily routine depends on the team's schedule. So the four different types of days so is the home game day, the away game day, a practice day, or an away practice day. So every day is kind of groundhog day in the NBA. We know when we wake up what's going to go on, whether we're in Chicago or whether we're in you know, waking up in our own beds. We know the pattern of events that's going to happen every day. Um, so I'll get to the arena about two hours before, if we're at home, two hours before our practice, and we have a staff meeting, uh, the athletic trainers and myself, and we go over each player, and then we adjust our plans for what we're going to do for those guys based off from the information that we've shared, and then when the guys start coming in, and we start working them out and start getting them ready for practice. He has had the opportunity to work with some of the top players in the NBA. This is the most infamous one is Ron Artest, um, Jermaine O'Neal, David West is an all-star, Roy Hibbert's an all-star, Danny Granger was an all-star. You know, there's been just a lot of great players and, and great individuals and, and a lot of these guys, it's unfortunate in the NBA that a lot of guys are seen as prima donnas and you know, they're really, really good people.